Ah, Blackpool. The Riviera of the Northwest and home to TVR, founded by Trevor Wilkinson in 1947. TVR handmade supercar alternatives, popular with rugby club maniacs, or the seriously hardcore. This is their prototype, Tamora, an entry-level car which will be built to replace the Griffith. But it won't be ready until next spring. Until then, you'll have to make do with this year's cars. Latest offering from TVR, the Tuscan, with its own engine built straight out of the factory. It's a speed six, four litre, so it's a bit like Marinello and Enzo Ferrari, all built in house. But this one, lad, is built in Blackpool by a bloke called Peter, Peter Wheeler. TVR have raised the price of the Tuscan by nine grand to just under 50. These days, that's brave. Their reasoning, you now get sport suspension, air con, and a digital radio as standard. Maybe they got the pricing wrong in the first place, or they're just supremely confident. The burning question is, is it worth it? The Tuscan is lightweight with a huge amount of power, and there's no driver's aid whatsoever. No electronic gizmos, no traction control, no ABS. In fact, the only driver's aid they say you need is a progressive chassis. So this car has got 360 brake horsepower screaming through the rear wheels, which means it could be fun for some, but absolutely lethal for others. All right, so the TVR Tuscan does crash and bang over bumps a little bit. In fact, running over a Rizzler feels like you just run over a sheep. But what do you expect? This is a race car for the road. There are a few things every self-respecting TVR driver must have. Firstly, you're going to need blind courage. Secondly, oh yeah, you're going to need a rugger shirt so you can join a Twickenham set. And thirdly, you're going to need a hairdryer so you can blow dry the tarmac in front of you if it's a wet day. TVR say they plan to take on the lights of Jaguar, but I don't think that's realistic. This is a hand-built, bare essentials, high-maintenance sports car, not really suitable for everyday use. It's one for the enthusiast. It's out here in open space on a racetrack that the TBR Tuscan really comes into its own. It delivers the 360 brake horsepower through the rear wheels effortlessly when it's hooked up to this great little five-speed gearbox that slots home into gear neatly and precisely. Now on the road, this car barely has power steering, but I can understand why, because when you're on the track, it loads up beautifully into tight corners and S-bends. There are a few flaws with it though, and they are wind noise, it rattles around a bit, but I can live with these because it comes from a manufacturer that hand makes sports cars. So far, TBR have managed to deliver 500 Tuscans with a further 1,100 orders to go. But if you want to order one now, you'll have to pay the increased price. The TVR Tuscan is a true British creation. It's a pint as opposed to a cocktail. It's raw, eccentric and overconfident if a little rough around the edges, which I suppose is a fair representation of what we do well. But is it worth nearly 50 grand of my money? Well, I think so, but I still have another problem with it. How can it compete with names like Lamborghini, Porsche, Ferrari, when the brand name and badge TVR actually stand for Trevor? <laughs> 